Oh, right on the screw. All right, hey everyone. So I'm here with Brian at Current LA. Hello. And Brian, you're gonna take us through the Ferrari Dino. Yeah, 73 Ferrari Dino. Amazing, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Cool. This is beautiful. So it's getting an EV conversion, right? And you had mentioned that you guys, your whole shop, that you can do like frame off restoration. What was the, the like starting point for this build? Uh, this car was purchased in Florida and uh, shipped here okay. and driven into the shop. Driven into the shop? That's right, yeah. This was a complete car, uh, running, driving, registered vehicle. And um, client wanted to do uh, EV conversion of a uh, Ferrari Dino. That's really neat. Yeah. So I can see that some things have already been switched around. I'm assuming that these are new. Yeah, every, everything on this car will be uh, you know, brand new. It's a uh, unibody car. So it's got a lot of fiberglass uh, tub on the inside and the interior that separates it from the rest of the vehicle. Um, Interesting. It's got a uh, steel tube chassis and uh, in the body steel. They came with an aluminum hood. Okay, for um, like weight. Probably. I guess, yeah, they just made them out of aluminum. Marketing. Uh, Could be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now with an aluminum hood. And then we're just dressed, we're dressing all these panels out and adding things that this car uh, never came with, such as uh, power brakes, uh, power rack and pinion steering, um, uh, heating and air conditioning, and oh, wow. full multimedia stereo system. So this is going to be more comfortable, easier to drive, and probably faster than when it was brand new? Absolutely. Yeah. It'll be about twice as fast as what it was new. And, and this car, uh, you know, this type of car being a sports car and the shape of it, uh, you know, just cuts through the wind really nice. So uh, this car's got a 60 kilowatt pack in it, and it will go about 100 to 150 mile range. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's plenty. So, and it just has one pack, so that's nice. Um, what motor are you guys using for it? Um, oh, this one's the, it's a Cascadia. It's Cascadia? Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh and we can see it. I forgot what this one is. Hey, Sam. Oh, shoot, this is that bad. This one's like. That's real. Hey, what this one? This is the same thing as that 225, but this includes the um, transaxle in it, within it. Okay. So this is the independent rear suspension. Interesting. Yeah. All so right. We've got you know we're making axles and um, just connecting it to this drive unit. But I think it's called there's an IM two twenty five and then this one's called a different part number. And the big the big difference is that it has gearing integrated Correct. into it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's Do you the ha happen to know what the gearing is? Um. One ninety. This is no. This is not the one ninety. Is it? I thought it was large. Anyways, we can get back in. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd like to know. This is actually, it's got the same power as those other motors. So okay. I know that. Um, but it's transverse mounted this way. And then we just add axle shafts. Directly and into that housing. Yeah. If Where, you peek, if you peek through to here. Check that out. Yeah, if you peek through here and you can see the actual shafts, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And for there. there. So. Let's maybe come around this way. There we go. Yeah, so those will come out and in here. Yeah. And this is the uh, so our battery box here. It's actually empty at the moment. So yeah, this is in the stages. This car is having you know, everything from custom seats, custom dash being made for it. Um, all the inner fender wells are made of steel and aluminum and fiberglass panels. Uh, every interior panel on this car is going to be fabricated custom. So it'll have aluminum belly pan. Um, it's got uh, air-cooled front brakes from the front of the vehicle. So this is going to be it's going to be a special special car for sure. Power windows. Oh yeah, wow! Full power. So it's got it's going to have a lot of nice little features in it. Was there a performance benchmark you guys were trying to hit as far as like? like speed or 060 or quarter mile or anything? Um, 
Yeah, I mean, it's it, we we know we know it's going to be a, a quick car. Quick, we know it's yeah. going to be a snappy, quick car. Um, it's probably one of the lighter cars that we've uh, built uh, with this motor. So, uh, but uh, we didn't really. I mean, there's really not really uh, benchmarks in it. Okay. You know, we pretty much uh, build to uh, what a client requests and what we offer them. We give them different versions of motors and, and power. Yeah. And uh, you know, we're definitely going to be doing a lot of testing with this vehicle when it's complete, see what we can do. That's sure. gonna be cool. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be good, good times. Now this this paths through here, is that like the old air intake? Yeah, correct. Okay. That was the old air intake passages on both sides. On both sides, And cool. we'll be using those uh, to uh, cool the the, uh, the motor and the battery. Oh, and the, the battery, will be, cool. will be mounted back in this area here. Oh, that's gonna be and So sweet. there'll be forced air shrouded to those from the rear. And then uh, uh, possibly shrouds going to cool the brakes as in the front. In the front. Yeah. yeah. Is this the only battery box, or do you have another one in the front that no, you guys are? No, this is the only battery the box one. needed, and it's uh, it's mounted where the original motor would have been. Okay. Uh, so we have a basically like a mid-engine type feel of weight back into the car. So it'll have uh, it's two inches uh, lowered all the way around on coilovers, and um, we. Uh, a custom wheels we made for the car. It's kind of how. Oh, like really? 18s and 19s. Yeah, oh, actually. Yeah, are they sure. over here? Yeah, sure. Come on over. Hey, Dale. Can you grab the thing real quick right there? Well, it looks sticky. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got it. I see the rubber. <laughs> Sorry, Dale. Yeah, so. Oh, beautiful. You made these reminiscent of the Campanola wheel in a 19. And then the fronts are at 18, so they're gonna look really nice on there. And so you know, we develop uh, everything that you see. We develop it and come up and do our own drawings. Uh, we work with another company that actually makes the wheels. We don't do these here, uh, but we are working on a grill that will actually work in with this design also in the front of the car. So, so you guys drew all of this out and then sent that to right. your to your. Um, to another company and they milled it out. That's right, yeah. That is so cool. Yeah. One of a kind. Yeah, these are one of a kind wheels, yeah. Staggered set, they're gonna look real nice. They fit really nice. I am very excited to see this all, all done. Yeah, this is gonna be, uh, like I said, it's gonna handle better than it ever has. It's gonna be, uh, probably have twice the horsepower that it originally came with. So uh, it's going to be impossible to not be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely impossible. Yeah. Now, um, because this was already a mid-engine like car, mm -hmm. does that has that made it more complex or a little bit easier to do the the conversion? I found it. Uh, this car's got a it's got a lot of little things that are going for it that we wouldn't do on some other cars, like custom work. As far as the conversion goes, yeah, I, I find that. Doing this type of conversion is uh, easier. It's easier. Yeah, it, it is. I mean, uh, you know, working with the shafts and getting, uh, you know, high steel, uh, I mean, uh, heavy duty steel shafts and having certain things done uh, is a challenge. But once you get past that, then you got it. You know, I mean, that's that's it. I mean, in sports cars, I love doing the sports cars a lot because they're just small, they're light. Yeah. You don't need to have as many batteries as if you're doing a, a larger vehicle. It really. It, you really need a lot more battery and a lot more power to move a large vehicle through. You know, these will just cut through, I think, really nice. So, yeah, the sports cars are really nice. Well, to work on. Huh? It's beautiful. Yeah, I can't wait to see it done. Soon. This one should be soon. Hopefully, we'll get this one to SEMA this year. Yeah? That okay. is a goal. That's the yeah, goal. Hopefully, we'll see everybody at SEMA. Because I didn't see you guys at SEMA last year no 2023 yeah we didn't go we, uh, some of you. us were there but as spectators yeah so oh, okay hopefully uh, uh well, i didn't know you then so i can right survive. right yeah 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 <laughs> hopefully hopefully we'll be there uh this year not as spectators that will be showing some this showing is some the one these. yeah this All one right. has really been our focus uh to try and get this done for the client so he's, he's ready for it so are we yeah so we're getting there Cool. Well, thank you for taking us through where it is now, where it's going. This is going to be an absolutely beautiful build. Yeah, can't wait. Thanks for asking. Thanks for checking it out. <laughs>